guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. In this video, we're going to compare the Xperia Z with the iPhone 5 because we can. Let's check it out. So obviously the Xperia Z has a much larger screen, 5 inches here compared to 4 inches on the iPhone 5. We've got a much, much, much higher resolution display, 1920 down by 1080 across, making for a PPI of about 440. On the iPhone 5, we've got 1166 down, or is it, no, 1136 down uh, by 640 across, making for a PPI of 326. So obviously a much smaller device, and placed on a tabletop, these are very similar in terms of thinness, which is it's pretty amazing because the iPhone 5 used to be the thinnest phone on the planet, but now with the Xperia Z, uh, it really has a contender. Uh, very different materials here. We've got a ton of fingerprints, so we're sorry about that. We've got glass on the front here on both of the devices, obviously, and on the back we've got aluminum and, gla and glass and just glass. And then on the iPhone 5, aluminum wrapping around the edges. Obviously, very different devices in terms of software. We've got iOS here and Android Jelly Bean. Let's do a, 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 a little bit of a speed test. Let's launch the camera at the same time. One, two, three. Yeah, see. A little bit faster on the iPhone 5. Let's do that again. Inconclusive. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Boom. A little bit faster on the iPhone 5, but the Sony has a 13 megapixel camera, uh, whereas the iPhone 5 has an 8 megapixel camera. Let's open up a couple of other apps. Let's launch the phone. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, a little bit faster on the iPhone 5. And, uh... That is just a short little comparison of the Xperia Z uh, versus the iPhone 5. Intended for different types of users, uh, the Xperia Z is definitely much taller, much bigger in the hand, but has a nicer, bigger, much higher resolution screen. The iPhone 5 is that phone that you want. You just want something small, deep, super thin in your hand. That's it.